Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is a crypto violin. Guys I hope you have an amazing day, I am back with some bullish content and some amazing videos for you and in this video I want to share the content that I am listening to and the YouTubers that I am listening to and that are very interesting and the very interesting content they share. As you all can hear probably my voice is crystal clear, I am using a new microphone after some of you asked if I was recording my crypto videos in the restroom, no guys I am not, I have a beautiful office and I am recording from there but now from a better sound system I hope you like this it's amazing for me and I hope you like it too this way maybe you can hear my voice better and be more bullish and juicy than before so I want to kindly remind you to subscribe to my beautiful channel we are at 8.72k subscribers let's go let's go let's go let's go to the 10k guys help your boy crypto violin to the 10k and also like if you like content providing and comment in the comment section below but beware of the dirty scammers don't believe them don't send your money and don't call them and let's have the juice and bullish content I have for you today. So first of all, I am following this guy Virgil Bacon. He's also on TikTok and also on YouTube and he's sharing very interesting but very short videos. So I would recommend you giving him a follow because he's sharing very interesting content and let's watch two of his videos. While all coins are cheap, I just bought a bit more XRP and a basket of DeFi coins. As Bitcoin dominance is testing this key resistance level, I am expecting it to break towards the downside and thus altcoins to do well. And that's why I'm scooping up altcoins that are still cheap after last week's dump and still haven't recovered. The first one is XRP. XRP is currently around 52 cents and it did break down from this triangle. But we are still above the key support of 46 cents and I think this breakdown is likely a bear trap and we should bounce from it. I think this small drop is related to the spark airdrop which happened yesterday. Many short term XRP holders must have sold on the news. I'm also buying more of the DeFi index on FTX exchange. This index includes most of the major DeFi coins, there's also a similar one on Binance. Yesterday, the DeFi index bounced from this key support zone around 2100. As long as we hold above this support at 2000, I am bullish on it. Okay, so very interesting. This guy is buying XRP because he believes that the dip is over and he's also all in on altcoins and he's also buying some DeFi altcoins. Very interesting. And let's watch another short video of Virtual Bacon. Bitcoin is recovering nicely up to 18,700 again. Hope you had a chance to accumulate while it was cheap. Like I said, this is why you want to buy the dips instead of shorts during the bull run. You don't want to bet against the trend. Accumulate slowly as the price gets cheaper. That has always been my preferred strategy. Looking at the current chart, Bitcoin had a fake out below the support at 18k, but we're now back above it. So it's back in this range between 18k and all time high. And like we discussed before, as long as it starts trading sideways and the volatility goes down, all coins should perform well against Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance confirms this as well. We are testing a key resistance level at around 64.5%, and I do expect this to hold because we're in this ascending triangle in a downtrend which is more likely to break down towards the downside. So now is the time to look at your favorite altcoins with strong fundamentals and see if people panic sold them over the last two weeks during the Bitcoin correction. There could be cheap opportunities. So just in case you didn't listen good enough, let's listen once again to what he says in the last part, the last 10 seconds of his video because here it gets very interesting. Bitcoin dominance will go down and major altcoins will explode. And he is saying, keep an eye on altcoins that made a huge dip. And the altcoin that made the biggest dip is XRP, guys. So watch out, XRP will rise in price. He is saying it right here. So now is the time to look at your favorite altcoins with strong fundamentals and see if people panic sold them over the last two weeks during the Bitcoin correction. There could be cheap opportunities. Okay, and let's go right away to my favorite YouTubers, Rob Art. He did a live stream 10 hours ago and it was amazing. I want to share this content with you because he is really legend. He is calling some prices and it was so bad because he was calling in the bear market. He was calling even 10 cents and I was like, what the hell is he talking about? But guys, every single price he told, he called exactly. And that's amazing. And he also called the top of $3.20 in the previous bull run. So he knows what he's talking about and you should definitely give him a subscribe. And let's listen what Rob Art has to say. Hello, Michael. You're now from Brisbane, Australia. Hope you're having a great time. 
Uh, no, uh, Mitchell, I do not hold ADA. Uh, I mentioned that I think it's a great project in one of my last videos. I just, like I said, I think it will do well. I have nothing but positive things to say about ADA. It, just like I said earlier, it might be a stupid reason. I just don't see a point in loading up and diversifying into another major old since I already have so many major olds. Like, I think it will owe roughly more or less 10 to 20x, you know? Uh, you know, the last time, roughly 10 top holds, they wiped up on average roughly over 12,000%. And Bitcoin only wiped up roughly 2,000%. So you could say it's anywhere from 5 to 6x holds went up more. So once again, we'll have the same story, I believe, with almost by the way. And, you know, when I was reading about this months ago, also when XRP was in the dumps, I kept saying that, you know, there's no way absolutely that a lot of Litecoin, ETH, uh, Link, Bitcoin are like going up like 5, 6, uh, 7x. The XRP will stay uh, at these prices, absolutely no way. And I kept saying the moves last but fast. And I kept saying this, that uh, Ethereum is going to gain more than Bitcoin and XRP is going to gain more Ethereum simply because both require less money to be injected into them for them to pump harder. What happened? Ethereum pumped harder than Bitcoin, XRP pumped harder than Ethereum. And these pumps aren't even that big. You know, we haven't even reached the twenty to $30,000 a year for Bitcoin. There's still no frenzy. The media is still not covering it extensively. There still isn't FOMO. Uh, it's all yet to come, you know? So when it truly does come, it be like, I, I remember, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were here in 2017. Do you remember those parabolic moves when you just wake up and that thing just, I don't know, it just goes up 100% then you think it's done. Uh, you wake up again, it goes up you know, another 100%, then it means corrects 30%, then it goes up 50%, corrects 20%, it goes up 100%. Wow, guys, I remember those days. It were amazing days and I was in crypto heaven, guys. I wake up 100%, I go to sleep 50%. I wake up 120% rise. It's amazing. That are the times that will come also. We saw a small preview of this on XRP on the 150% price rise the last week and it will repeat itself but much bigger. We are on the edge of the biggest bull run in the history of the crypto space, guys. Remember this because institutional investors are coming and pouring their money into the crypto space, guys. Remember this. insane, like The, the PA is mind blowing. Uh, brother, brother Rob, do you think uh, this bull market is going to go to fourteen dollars? What's your thoughts on Rob Price once mass adoption comes into play in the coming year? Okay, listen to this price prediction, guys. It's amazing, and Rob Art is a trader who knows what he's doing. So really, give him a follow and listen to what he has to say. Uh, I, I really don't think it has anything to do with adoption, my friend. Thank you for your wonderful comment uh, and your great question. Uh, I really don't think it has anything to do uh, with adoption. As you know, like I, I think XRP has great utility, but I really don't think utility is going to go much for the price. I believe it's just speculation and the FOMO that people are going to create based on these news and utility. So I believe it might be 5-10% utility and 90% just, you know, Again, FOMO and uh, things that uh, we started making up for ourselves, you know. I kept saying the same back in 2017, and people argued, and with all due respect, uh, the fact that the crash nearly 98% from $3.84 proved exactly what I was getting at. That uh, every single, not just XRP, every single crypto, of course, was heavily overvalued. There was no utility, there was nothing to, except, you know, emotion in those prices. So. Of course, no wonder they crashed. It's normal, you know. It's once uh, the stereo dies and you know, it just starts crashing. So I do think that, yeah, I think to answer that question, I'm sorry. Uh, as you well know, um, based on those uh, former percentage gains uh, and lengthening cycles and all that that I've explained several times, blah blah blah. I believe a seven to thirteen dollar XRP. Uh, if that's like my first take profit area. And then depending on what Bitcoin does, uh, depending on whether or not it's going to crash or it's going to correct and then keep pumping, we can potentially go up as high as like $38, $40, you know. That so $40 XRP price prediction from Rob Art if Bitcoin manages to make a huge bull run, guys. That's amazing news. $40, I will take that all day long. $40 is amazing, guys. It would be an amazing take profit level. What do you guys think? Would you hold till $40 or would you sell earlier or would you hold just 
way past $40 and will you only sell above $100 or $1,000? Let me know in the comment section. Once again, if Bitcoin uh, corrects and keeps pumping instead of just starting to crash, because if Bitcoin just starts to crash, then I believe roughly $13 area will be the top. When I say this 13, it can be 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, more or less like give or take. Thank you, Rob Art, for your amazing price prediction. Let's go to the last tweet of David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, the company, has posted a very interesting tweet where he gives his point of view on where the price of XRP can go over the next few months. Let's read. I finally decided to share my speculations on the price of XRP over the next few months. Also, since the PolySign NDA embargo has been lifted, I can finally share the exciting stuff we are doing. Wow, he will share some very bullish news, guys. Guys, David Schwartz pranked us all and he did a big troll on us and he told us that he had information about the price of XRP, but it was a big troll guys. I could laugh about this. It was very funny. I hope you liked this also and I hope you liked the video because that was the ending of this bullish and juicy video. So if you like content providing, please give a like and also give a like and subscribe to all those YouTubers and content creators that I covered in this video. I want to remind you I'm not a financial advisor, but I am very bullish. I'm a bullish, I'm a bullish crypto violin. And I hope you can support my crypto violin channel by subscribing to my beautiful channel. We're at 8.72k subscribers. Let's go to the 10k guys. Let's help your boy crypto violin. And also comment in the comment section if you have questions, but beware of the scammers. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.